games are about escapism, and space is perhaps the furthest place you can escape to, even when it is entirely virtual. There's now an entire range of space games out there, so which game is the best one to get into for exploration? Well that would entirely depend upon what you want from your game, so with that in mind, let's take a look at what some of the current crop of space games have to offer. So, exploration then is easily my favourite aspect of space games. Setting out on an epic journey to discover strange worlds and locate things that haven't been seen before is just unlike anything else in gaming. Now, unfortunately, not all space games cater to this particular mechanic, and this is by no means going to be an all-encompassing list. However, what you find here will certainly highlight some of the best games that are out there for exploration. 400 billion star systems, all contained within a true one-to-one -one scaled representation of our very own Milky Way galaxy. If you've ever stood outside at night and looked up at the stars and wondered what it would be like to visit one of them, then Elite Dangerous allows you to do this. Whether you want to visit one of the moons or planets of our own solar system, or if you want to make a journey to a recognisable star system such as Alpha Centauri or Tau Ceti, or even a constellation such as Taurus, then they have all been recreated using the current scientific knowledge of our own galaxy. For me personally, yeah, this is one of the best things about Elite Dangerous. Now, I've spent many hours simply flying from star system to star system or nebula to nebula, discovering some truly amazing sights. The downside is that it can be extremely slow going. However, by the same token, you get to undertake this monumental journey in some wonderful spaceships. Further, if you have access to virtual reality on the PC, then Elite is totally unlike any other experience. It often literally feels as though you are flying over the surface of those alien worlds. Currently, exploration forms one of Elite's many game loops. Outfitting your ship with discovery scanners allows you to locate and detail planetary and star information, which can then be sold for credits. This also grants you the ability to gain a first discovered buy tag on the stellar object that you've actually discovered. Refinement of your ship's build is also an important aspect of exploration. Building an exploration ship allows you to cover a greater distance with each hyperspace jump, making the overall exploration experience far nicer. Now it's true that Elite Dangerous is often criticised for many of its areas looking the same or similar to each other, but nothing could be further from the truth. For those who want to put time and effort into exploration, they will be rewarded with a rich variety of locations, from colourful nebula to amazingly dense star fields. Yet it's also true that exploration in Elite, in terms of gameplay at least, is very limited. If you enjoy searching for rich locations, you will likely have a lot of fun. If, on the other hand, you're looking for in-depth gameplay, then the story is very different. However, a new update to Elite arriving at the end of the year called Beyond Chapter 4 will feature a whole bunch of new exploration gameplay mechanics, including a new probe scanning system, along with many new features and phenomena to discover. And these will be both available in space as well as down on planetary surfaces. If you don't feel the need for a spaceship and want to explore at some truly amazing speeds, then the Space Engine is perhaps the answer. Whilst the planets in the Space Engine are not as detailed as Elite Dangerous's scientifically accurate worlds, Space Engine nonetheless has an amazing, undeniable beauty. Again, just as with Elite, Space Engine contains a full representation of the Milky Way galaxy which you are free to explore in any way you wish. What's more is that Space Engine contains many other galaxies, around the 100 billion mark in fact, each of which contains billions upon billions of stars, moons and planets. Now, as Space Engine isn't strictly speaking a game, it means that there are not any limits to how you can explore. Whilst the software does contain a spaceship feature along with associated flight model, outside of that you can simply control the camera and move around however you like at a truly ridiculous speed. Whilst travelling around from point to point is indeed one way to explore, it is far from the only way. A very powerful search system allows you to pinpoint the types of locations you want to find, and this can literally enable you to visit very specific types of worlds. The great thing about Space Engine is that it is entirely free, and it's also still in active development. The current unreleased beta contains numerous features that people are keen to try out, including some very pretty new volumetric nebula. It could be reasonably said that exploration is at the very core of No Man's Sky, 
With over 18 quintillion planets, that's this rather large number right here, there's plenty of places to visit. The No Man's Sky next update dramatically improved all the planets and they are now a true pleasure to explore. Initially, it will feel as though each world you visit has something new and unique to discover and this is largely thanks to No Man's Sky fairly robust procedural generation system which creates everything you see from the planets themselves to the plants and animals and yes, even the variations on ships that you see flying around. Now, there are many different gameplay loops to get involved with in No Man's Sky but nearly all of them will involve exploration in one way or another. Whether that means exploring a planet to locate resources to build your base, or whether it means moving from system to system as you send your fleets on expeditions, travel towards the next atlas base, or move ever closer towards the center of the galaxy. Unlike nearly every other space game out there, No Man's Sky truly is underpinned by exploration. It's perhaps one of the game's strongest foundations. Ultimately though, it does have to be admitted that it doesn't take too long until you feel you're seeing variations on the same things. Whilst there is indeed a good number of different planets, once you've seen a few ice worlds for example, you'll notice the similarities between all ice worlds. The same story goes for animals and plants, but that is the nature of the building blocks that comprise No Man's Sky's procedural generation. Whether or not you'll personally find this a limiting factor will certainly be very subjective, but it's certainly immensely held by the pace of the gameplay, which is far faster than that of Elite Dangerous, for example. This means that with No Man's Sky, you'll always be on to the next thing before you've had too much time to think about it, and this really does help keep the exploration fresh. And now EVE Online has by far the smallest game world of all the games mentioned in this video, but that by no means suggests that it's a small game. In fact, in terms of content, it could easily be argued that EVE is by far the biggest game here. However, what is it like for exploration? Well, just like the other games, EVE has a ton of gameplay loops, all set within a vibrant and amazingly detailed player-driven world, and exploration is very much a part of this. However, unlike the other games in this video, exploration isn't so much about discovering amazing sights or strange new worlds, rather it's about making riches. With close to 8,000 star systems, there's certainly plenty of room to explore. However, as with all activities within Elite, it will be a dangerous undertaking as there's always a chance you'll encroach on another player's corporation's territory. In either event, you'll certainly want to keep an active eye out for players that may want to destroy you. It's unlikely then that you will find exploration within EVE to be a constantly peaceful affair. Of course, before you start exploring, it's important to take the right ship and equipment. And once you have that, it's a case of tracking down a suitable location to apply your trade. In short, the lower the security of space, the more dangerous it is, the better it's going to be for you in terms of what you're able to discover. Exploration then within EVE takes place through the use of probe scanners. Deploying these out into space, they can be positioned in a number of ways to provide feedback and ultimately lead you to discoveries. Now there's a number of different things you can discover in this manner which ultimately include various types of sites that offer resources or alternatively you may discover a wormhole. Now wormholes add an entirely different layer to exploration. Once you are successfully inside wormhole space you will have a very different area to search. Of course wormhole space is also very dangerous but so too is nearly everywhere else within EVE. Yet it's places like this where players are likely to find the greatest riches. So that's a few of the best space-based exploration games out there right now. Each of these could keep you occupied for many, many hours. However, which one you choose will likely depend on the overall style of exploration you're looking for. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.